and welcome to the episode 137 of What A Fab Day. I am your host, Simon Maas. Today, we have residencies in West Germany, a live engagement in Norwich, and the beginning of the recording of You Know My Name, Look Up The Number. Any guess on where the Beatles with Pete Best on drums performed on the 17th of May 1961? If your reply was the Top 10 Club in Hamburg, you are indeed right. And if you know that it was the City's Star Club where the same lineup performed on this day in 1962, well, my dear big hatter, you can boast about your Beatles pub quiz knowledge. Or perhaps you're one of the three or four regular listeners of this podcast. Perhaps then I can remind you to please visit www.simonmas.com support at the end of this episode and find out how you can support my efforts to bring you even more music-related content for free. That is only possible if you are a regular, though. If you're here for the first time, well, you have to listen to all the other episodes for it to be kosher. Then it will be all right. Thank you for bearing with me for this short lapse into goofiness. Let's return to our stories. On the 17th of May 1963, the Beatles, now with Ringo Starr on drums, were at the Gosvenor Rooms in Norwich for a performance earning them £250, about 5,300 pounds in 2020 money. The gig was put together by local promoters Ray Aldous, Peter Holmes and Geoffrey Walker and featured Ricky Lee and the Hucklebox as support group. Aldous and company had booked the band in April 1963, when the Beatles only had Love Me Do in the charts and another local promoter, Alan Lockwood, had turned them down. Aldous' initial offer to the Beatles' manager Brian Epstein had been £45, about £800 in 2020 money, but with the band's increasing successes, Epstein had managed to raise that by some 450%, getting to the final fee of £250. The Beatles arrived in the afternoon, had their sound check, and left for some food and to watch a film at a nearby cinema. When they returned, they found 1,700 people gathered in the ballroom for the event. In 1967, the Beatles were at the EMI studios between 7 pm and 2.30 am. With George Martin absent, it was up to Jeff Emerick to direct the session. The Beatles arrived without any definite song ready and started experimenting on the spot on a mantra-like sing-along that John Lennon had in mind, creating what will end up being You Know My Name, Look Up The Number. According to Paul McCartney, the song might have been an early signal to Yoko Ono about John's interest. More probably, as John is quoted explaining on Beatlesbible.com, it was just a fragment of a musical piece he had come up with, seeing a slogan on the 1967 London telephone book. You know the name, look up the number. He had intended it as a 15-minute long mantra, but instead the song ended up being a comedy piece. The song will have a long and complex production, but today the band ended up recording 14 takes of the rhythm track, featuring guitars, bass, drums, hand claps, bongos and some vocals. Take 10 was set aside as the best for further work. Finally, in 1968, the film Wonderwall was premiered at a Cannes Film Festival in Cannes, France. George Harrison, composer of the film's soundtrack and Ringo Starr, were in attendance. This ends today's episode of the show. Tomorrow we'll have more live performances and more work on Revolver. Tune in for more stories from the four you love. For the moment, I wish you a good day and a fab continuation. Simon Mas, music you love.